Hi, this is Shadi and today I'm going to be talking to you about, in my opinion, the most important thing that I've learned uh, being in Japan and training Judo in Japan. Sleeve and lapel grip, as simple as it may seem, there is a lot of details that go into it. Something that's simple, it's not necessarily easy. Um, there is a great difference between banality and the genius of simplicity and today we will see exactly that so uh, it's a technique that or a little trick that will allow you to not only protect yourself and create a strong and robust posture but at the same time it will allow you to counter and attack and that is the tsurite hand here you see fluid judo japan explaining it it's actually freeing your wrist almost upward as if you are shooting a gun and then from that you can actually frame with it if you create just a tiny push with it and uh, keeping your elbow bent it will actually create a very strong yet invisible frame for someone to get actually close to you or at the same time uh, push you backwards um, let's see a few competition examples so here you see Mariama Joshiro against Vieru he is framing with the lapel but keeping his weight forward um, the weight distribution is up to you to uh, decipher but it's all in the wrist and how you actually frame with it I understand many people don't like this grip but for those of you that do use it here let's see it in slow motion you see Mariama's wrist is almost pointing upward look Viero could not get that close and really um, how do you, how do you say Put his weight uh, in danger or put his balance in danger and thus he was he was like almost blocked and uh, grabbing the opposite lapel gave Mariama the sleeve and that was a very lethal mistake now let's see it even more closer with in my opinion the greatest competition example of this grip and how powerful it is and that is blast against Katabuchi look at Katabuchi's sleeve hand and how it is almost next to the cheek of blast so that's how upward he is pointing it almost like shooting a gun and here you see the results a blast went for uchimata throwing someone that much smaller would have been very easy but because of that frame he couldn't get the proper kuzushi and which gave the opportunity to katabuchi to actually push downwards on the face look at the push on the face and pulling with the sleeve and created arguably the greatest uchimata skashi of all time even better than uh, Shinohara if I may put my opinion on it here you see from the first uh, Olympic Games uh, you can see the framing look at the wrist look at um, how hard it is to create Kuzushi against the Japanese uh, judoka so uh, this is something that uh, it might seem very easy to understand but in fact it's not um, there's a lot of details that go into it it's not just uh, the grip there is also how you stand up there is uh, also how you maintain your posture how you distribute your weight and all these i cannot unfortunately show you on video uh, that's why learning will always be uh, variant there's many ways to do it um, learning things on the spot someone showing you something it will, will always be very different from video now we do have the luxury of learning from videos and actually adding little tricks to our games like all these instructionals that are out there but learning uh, face to face i've seen fluid judo japan videos many times but you will never understand it until you truly are there and someone is actually showing it to you so uh, i hope you can understand enough of this for you to apply in your judo and uh, you know posture is everything in judo and even if it might seem very counterintuitive to stand upright but look at people like Shohei Ono look at people like Mariyama Joshiro it's very hard for you to take them down uh, if, even if they don't have their butt completely retracted back and it's hard to you know throw them like a beginner would say like oh if I put my butt back and I would push then judo is completely useless which is so not true that's like someone who is very strong at turtling and surviving rounds against brown belts and purple belts in BJJ or Jiu Jitsu and saying look I survived them so I'm at their level or their grappling sucks when in fact you're just not engaging and you know in other in any other position whether you are bent over with your arms stretched out you can get you know soccer kick to the face or if you are turtled you know the Jiu Jitsu guy who probably also does some striking or MMA 
as many of them do, can easily pummel you. So uh, posture is everything and maintaining composure and always be ready to defend, counter and also attack. Whether it's Neowaza or stand up is always crucial. So if you have anything else to add, let me know down below. This was Shadi and as always, thank you for listening.